sports, Steve Garvey, who 50 seasons ago suddenly blossomed from underachieving utility man of the Los Angeles Dodgers to the most valuable player in the National League, has announced he is running for the Republican nomination for Senator from California. He is 74 years old, and though the prospect of a political career was raised long before injuries forced him to retire as an active player in 1987, this will be his maiden political attempt. California Democrats outnumber California Republicans two to one. On the other hand, in a poll last month, Garvey led all possible Republican senatorial candidates. On the other other hand, he led all of them with the support of 7% of all of California's voters. Why has he waited so long to run for office? Well, one of the reasons might be he was waiting for everybody to forget in 1983, Steve Garvey and his wife Cindy, a Good Morning L.A. type host, divorced. He had a girlfriend, his former secretary. At the same time, he had another girlfriend, an assignment editor for CNN in Atlanta. And just as he was about to propose to her in 1988, he found out that a medical sales rep from San Diego was pregnant with his child. Then the assignment editor got pregnant. Then there was his other girlfriend, Candace, and she got pregnant three times. As a result, Steve Garvey earned a new nickname that tied into his political aspirations, the father of our country, Bob Hope, did Steve Garvey fatherhood jokes. As early as 1981, Garvey had told Playboy magazine he thought about becoming president father of our country indeed that was just about the time however late in the baseball season that his wife left him to begin a relationship with the rather nerdy film composer marvin hamlish when his dodgers got to yankee stadium for game one of the 1981 world series a giant banner hung briefly from the upper deck in right field it read in giant block letters steve marvin hamlish Steve Garvey's been hoping everybody's forgotten about all that, and he might be right. The story in the L.A. Times announcing his candidacy doesn't mention any of it. Not the girlfriends, not the kids, not the Marvin Hamlish banner. On the other hand, all of his children are now of voting age, so that's, what, a couple hundred votes right there? <laughs>